Hello Lakeland Bobcats, specifically second graders, it's Mrs. Sutton here to give you another math mini lesson. Let's jump right on in. All right, so our learning target is, I will develop my subtraction with regrouping skills. What does develop mean? That's definitely our verb. Here's a clue. All right, so develop means to grow. We're gonna grow our uh, subtraction skills today. All right, and what are we going to grow? What's our nouns? It is subtraction with regrouping. What does subtraction mean? It means to take away. And what's regrouping? That's right, it's when we break down tens or we break down hundreds in order to get more tens or ones. All right, so I'm just going to say tens to ones or we can do hundreds to tens. I'll definitely use some of those regrouping skills today. Sorry, you didn't get to see that. Button. Okay, now on to our learning target, our success criteria. Oh, let me revise that on here. Everybody makes mistakes and that's okay. All right, so we're gonna make that a S, C. There we go. Our success criteria. I can make a connection between base 10 blocks and the algorithm to efficiently solve the subtraction with regrouping. Whoa, make connections. Hmm, has your teacher ever asked you, how is your strategy different or the same as your partner's strategy? Or have you, ever, have you ever had to look at someone else's work and figure out what's wrong with it? That's all a part of making connections. So we're going to see how one strategy based in blocks is the same or different um, as the algorithm where you're stacking your numbers in order to subtract. Let's get started. So our problem today is 523 minus 397. Now, when we are subtracting, we want to make sure in our algorithm that the ones digits are lined up, the tens digits are lined up, and the hundreds digits are lined up. Oh, so let's get started. What place do we start at? Definitely start in the ones place. I have three ones minus seven ones. Uh oh. If I have three ones, can I take away seven? No. So, what do we need to do? It starts with an R. That's right, regroup. So, I'm going to go over to the tens place and I'm going to regroup the, um, one of those tens. But it, I don't understand, Miss Hudson. What do you mean, regroup? Well, let's draw it out. So I had three ones, I have three ones. I need to take away seven, I don't have enough. So I'm gonna to go to the tens place and I'm going to regroup some of those tens. So if I had to draw out my tens, it would look like this, 10, 20. Hmm. What if I took away one of those tens and made it into ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, now I have enough ones to take away seven. So oh, this is going to become 13. But I have to remember, I took away one of those tens. So this two now becomes one number one 
All right, so let's put in the work. 13 minus 7 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Taking away that 7, and I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's my 6. Huh. The 1's place is ready. Now I'm going to go to my 10's. I'm so ready. Let's do it. 1, 10, minus 9, 10. Uh-oh. Hmm. I only have one ten. What can I do? You've got it. I'm going to regroup again. This time, I'm going to regroup from the hundreds place. So I have five hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. I'm going to take one of those hundreds and I'm going to break it apart. I'm going to draw it in a different color so that you can see it, contrasting against the black and white. So, how many tens are inside of 100? 10 tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right. So now I have 11 tens. Let's double, double check, check. And you can check my math as well. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this 1 now becomes an 11. But I can't forget that I took away one of those hundreds. So now this 5 becomes a 4. Because I have four hundreds left. So going back to my tens place. I have 11 minus 9, 11 tens. I need to take away 9 tens. Let's do it. I don't count this one because it's already been used. I'm going to take away 9 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 2 tens left. All right. Our last step is to subtract the hundreds. So what is four hundreds minus three hundreds? Can I do that without regrouping? Or do I need to regroup? You got it. I do not need to regroup. I have four hundreds. I can totally take away three. So let's do it. One, two, three. How many hundreds are left? One. Now, going back to my success criteria, it said I will make a connection between the base 10 blocks and the algorithm. Can you share with yourself or someone at your house what's the connection that you see between the base 10 blocks and the algorithm? All right, here are the connections that I see. I see that when I needed to regroup, I could see how the 10 was breaking up, broken up into 10 ones so that I can have enough ones to subtract the seven. Another connection I see is when I had to regroup my hundreds, I could see the 11 tens to subtract the number of um, the number nine, the number nine which gave me that two tens left. And just like in the hundreds place, I started off with five, I had to regroup one of them, but I could also see when I was left with four, I could take away three of them, and that was leaving me with one. All right, scholars, I hope you made similar connections between the algorithm and base 10 blocks. If you have any questions, contact your teacher. Have a great day.